Hey everyone, welcome to my blog channel. I am the Poverty Princess and I felt that this channel would be the best uh, the best for the subject matter at hand. I will be discussing drug use slightly um, as well as death. And so I felt that perhaps these two topics alone, this video just might be better here on my blog channel. So let me get right into why I feel this trailer is haunted. Um, I came to visit down South Carolina probably close to a year before I actually moved here. And I met a woman named Susan. She was renting a room over at the main house. Um, she's a little bit older than me. Very attractive woman. Beautiful woman. Um, we had heart, heart issues in common. And I would never in a million years have thought that she had a drug habit. But it turns out she did. Um... She was very nice. Um, liked to have a beer at night watching TV. Nothing from what I've seen, you know, to indicate that she, you know, had this crazy wild life. Um, but, yeah, it was really surprising to find out that she was an IV drug user. Having already had several heart attacks prior to developing a drug habit. So... A few months after I had met her, my friend had to come back down here for a bit and calls me up the one night, kind of bummed out, and says to me that Susan passed away. And I was like, what? She said, yeah, her heart. Now again, I did not, you know, know anything about her drug habit or that. Um, I knew she had heart issues, and so I thought, well, that stinks. You know, that's that's very sad. And, um, and nobody told me at all. I always assumed that she passed away in the hospital. No. I found out two and a half months ago she passed away here in this trailer. Or shit in this room, this very room, yeah. Now, I've never felt uncomfortable, I've never felt creeped out, but over time, I have noticed things, and it's, it all starts making more sense when you, you know, really start, like, figuring things out. I started thinking that she might be around more when my tablet started going wonky. I started having issues with my laptop here, um, my other cell phone that I was only using to record videos. Like, I mean, not every single electronic recording device I have is automatically going to be, um, um, shall we say, you know, like, in bad shape, that they're all just all going to crap out at the same time. No, 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 don't buy it. No, that's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, um, that alone, you know, was really starting to make me think because the craziest things happen sometimes when I'm trying to edit a video. Um, that just should not happen, that I cannot find a legit reason for, like, in Microsoft, why is this happening? Um, so, yeah, there's some really weird things happen, files that just magically disappear. I have them in my tray, but I go to add it, and we can't find the file. Well, it was just there a minute ago, but somehow it magically disappeared. Um, so yeah, I have some very weird things when it comes to anything recording, um, electronic-wise. 
I do believe that maybe at times she is trying to reach out to me to tell me something. I don't know what. Um, I know she was an animal lover and she had a green thumb. I heard she could grow any darn flower that she touched. She could take a dead flower and work her magic with it and had that flower blooming in a few weeks looking brand new. So she had love and a gift with flowers. Um, and it's genuinely a shame that she just got involved with somebody who, you know, got her into things that just were not good for her. Um, her health, her age, yeah. So here on YouTube, I'm changing the subject for a moment. Here on YouTube, there are several channels who specifically record the streets of Kensington. And you'll see people, and I call them Kensington zombies. Like, to me, that is the walking dead right there. And you'll see these people, like, in the weirdest positions, and you don't know how they stand, and they walk, and such. And it's like, why would you want to take a drug that's going to do that to you and make you look like an idiot? Well... I seen a video of Susan bent over like that and it, it just shocked me. Um, it really, really, truly blew my mind to see her like that. And again, just reinforcing that whole thought, like why would you want to do a drug that makes you like that, that puts you in that stupor, that frame of mind, like it's just not natural. It's absolutely, like, insane. <laughs> I cannot wrap my mind around why that particular drug is so fascinating to people. I could not tell you. I don't know. But the bottom line is I do genuinely believe when my electronics start going wonky that she's around trying somehow, some way to tell me something. So, there was a video I did, a cooking video, and I believe it was a potato cake video months ago, homemade potato cakes. And in editing that video, I noticed a big orb, literally, um, came across the screen. And I noticed that during editing, and playback and yet not one person commented about that orb and if you don't believe me go into my cooking with the princess playlist and look for the homemade potato cakes I was making them late at night it was like 10 30 11 o'clock at night when I was doing that video and sure enough towards the end of the video you will see this orb go by the camera and it looks like it goes like over my head. Um, it was absolutely crazy. Crazy. So, I've had instances where the back door here was literally shoved out. Like this is from the inside of the trailer opening out. Not from the outside coming in. Shoved open so hard that the door like slammed against the outside of the trailer and here's the kicker there was no wind it was not a windy day it was a beautiful sunny calm day so how did the door just magically fly open with force with effort like someone left here angry and just ripped the door open and slammed it I don't know I genuinely don't know but what I do want to know is I'm going to put up in the community tab whether or not I should do a little bit of a ghost hunt using my spirit talker app on my phone and do a live Halloween night I think it would be fun I think it would be interesting um, just to see if anyone makes any kind of contact 
and if there is in fact some sort of message for me might be interesting so let me know in the comment section here on this video and let me know in the community tab if you want me to do a live Halloween night and um, we use my spirit talker for about two hours and talk and see if I can learn anything and maybe encourage the attack on my electronics to stop because I can't afford to go out and replace all these things I need them to work when I need them to work um, I don't know might be fun could be interesting I really don't know what's going to happen but I think it would definitely be a cool life um, let me know in the community tab let me know here in this video but yeah this is why I believe that this trailer is haunted and I believe it may occasionally have a woman named Susan here um, possibly trying to tell me something or let me know something I don't know maybe if I use my spirit talker guys I'll get a more definitive answer of what might be going on let me know here let me know in the community tab if you like this video guys give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already hit the subscribe button here subscribe to my main channel as well and I will be seeing you all very very soon so good night and uh, be safe I'll catch y'all in my next one bye